I'm so glad you. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome. welcome. Welcome, there you are. This is where you get a chance to ask us a question. Tom and I are standing because we can't find the chairs. So here we go. The question would be, hey, where are your chairs? <laughs> John. Yes. What is your go-to karaoke song, and can we get a taste? I, um, I don't, I only had one. I sang it a couple weeks ago at Palmer's in Redmond. Highly recommend that place. And I sang with a friend of mine who was pregnant. We did Having My Baby. And it, oh, my God. She's pregnant. The worst. And it was yes. really bad. And I, the audience, it's just, the audience didn't like it because it's a gross song. So I decided my new one is Blood, Sweat, and Tears. You make me so very happy. I'm so glad you came into my life. Girl! I'm going to be it. I love that. That's a great song. Oh, that is a great song. Yeah, thank you. There you go. Tom. Yeah. The education budget is always in the news, and I've thought of one way to save some dough. Just cut one of the meaningless subjects in schools. <laughs> what class would you think is the most That's useless? That's not fair because, you know, I'm the guy, I'm the resident enthusiast of everything. There isn't anything I don't think people should study and know more about, so that really is cheap. Yeah. However, if I'm forced to do oh, it's it... it's going to be P.E. <laughs> is P.E. even still required? Yes. Of course I'd cut P.E. No! <laughs> The idea is, though, because you can play and do things, with physical activity. I think PE is important for people that don't have access to that kind of stuff. But I've played sports all my life, and so you can do that after school. So, yeah, that's a good idea. I, I'll say PE. It's not about the physical activity. It's about the social shaming of the people that can't climb the rope. <laughs> that's what it's about. It's, we don't have enough of that, do we? Absolutely. Bring it's it back. It's always about social shaming. You're a disgrace. <laughs>